All right, folks, God bless you. Welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Okay, guys, listen, I have been working, and let me just speak to you like everyone's my best friend and everyone's sitting here with me. You're going to need to get rid of all your spatulas and go get a bigger spatula. I'm not joking. So, in the past five days, since the last video, the Lord has been getting me ready to deliver the Genesis 1 video. It's like putting the stake in the heart of the main vampire. It is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's, it's almost not believable, but the evidence is in the biblical support is, it's not touchable. So, um, what I want to do to help y'all get ready, y'all, y'all need, y'all need to get ready for this. It's not just, let me just dump this date on you. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was laughing with Corey. I was like, people are going to be sitting in the corner sucking their thumbs. <laughs> They're going to be like, <laughs> it's, it's overwhelming. It's completely overwhelming. I'm just going to tell you now, I've talked to several friends of mine, you know, very close friends of mine. And one of them who, who, who is not easily rattled at all. All he said was, Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. And then he said, I have no words. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. That's it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's stunning. So anyway, um, one, so let me explain to you so you understand what you're getting ready to receive. Okay. On a daily basis, on a daily basis, I have, I have a friend of mine that's been here with me, helping me work for the last month, getting the stuff done that the Lord told me to do. Um, he has the benefit, unlike most people in YouTube land, that he gets to see my life in a day to day setting. You know what? I'm just, I'm going to call him out here just to give a quick testimony so he can just stand right here and just give it to you. Hang on one sec. And so, so anyway, I was telling you guys, so this is a friend of mine, Corey, and Corey's been one of my buddies for a little while, and he was in Grand Junction. Um, so what I'm trying to explain to y'all is this, that y'all don't get to see a day, a day by day, play by play. Corey has seen, Corey's been to my house other times. But he's never been for an extended stay like this. So on a day to day, just around here, it's so supernatural. It's almost scary. I mean, I really don't have words to describe the supernatural revelations that the Lord blesses. It's daily. And it's, I've been following Jonathan for six, seven years now, I guess. <clears throat> and uh, and I have been out here, this is probably my sixth time, I, I think, five or six. But I've never witnessed anything like this ever. And I'm speaking 100% true. I would base my salvation on it. So I'm just... So, yeah, on a, so, so, we're just, so we're talking to y'all. You know, we're just hanging out. We're just going to hang out with you for a minute. So I've been trying to get everything ready for them. And you've been watching. And on a daily basis, the Lord is dumping so much supernatural data on me. Can I keep up with it? No. I'm surprised. Do it. Literally, I'm surprised Jonathan hasn't melted out yet. I, um, like lost my mind and gone off the deep end. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Because what I'm what's being delivered to me, it, it changes the world forever. This is not just, you know, somebody on YouTube, oh, the Lord told me the rapture's on this day. And it's like, whatever. When you come to this channel, you see biblical knowledge. You see that you see 1 Corinthians 12 in action. It's like laying hands on somebody every day that's got cancer that's getting well. It's literally that kind of, uh, that kind of supernatural. It's beyond the brain. And it's, um, it's a daily occurrence. Absolutely. It's a it's a daily thing. It doesn't it doesn't stop. I don't get a break. Do I get a break? Zero. I don't get a break. No break. <laughs> no. Breaks. I'm not whining, but I'm just saying I don't get a break from it. It doesn't stop. 
It's like a radio station that's that's dialed in all the way, and it just it just flows, it just comes. Does that sound right? I'll just say this, and Jonathan's the one that said it. So I'm just echo, I'm just echoing what Jonathan said the other day. What the Lord has revealed. This is like throwing a huge brick at a glass window. The lie that we have all been living under since we were born into the system. And when Jonathan reveals this, you guys, you're going to be blown away. You're going to be blown away. This is absolutely, this is a crusher for the enemy. And, and the thing is, so, and you know, so here's the thing. It all goes hand in hand with everything else. I mean, it goes in with the Vatican being a big snake. It goes in with the largest altar being a dead sheep and the sheep, you know, the mouth of the snake is a vagina. I mean, that's a given, guys. I've been over that so many times. It's a joke. But, but the Lord showed me how everything built on itself. And see, I started my foundation, my foundation where I started building everything in my, in my walk was with the 100% nylon the night I got saved. When the Lord told me, I want you to read the tags and the clothes you're carrying. I mean, that was the first time I heard the Lord's voice ever. And I, I told you all, I was with Lou, and I was like, some source is communicating with me, telling me to read the tags and the clothes I'm carrying. And I told you, I read the tags, said 100% nylon. I know you guys are like, oh, click, I've heard it so many times. It's the most profound thing in the world now. That was the foundation, because then he told me, turn it upside down. So I'd already said 100% trying to figure it out, like to the, I'm, I'm talking to the sky in a hotel room now, 100% nylon, and that doesn't make any sense, and I hear, turn it upside down, but I'd already said 100%, then I heard, turn it upside down, like the word nylon, turn it upside down, and, it, and then I said 100% no lion. I told y'all my whole body lit up. I was like, what is this? It was like light taking over my body. And that didn't happen until I walked out in the alley when I was obedient and I followed the spirit. So anyway, so now this, that was my foundation. That's the point. So my foundation was in order to know the 100% truth, because 100% no line is the same as 100% truth. Corey, have you seen more truth in your in your last month there? <laughs> I don't really have words for what's coming. I'm just gonna tell you guys, raise yourselves. Yep. But if you feel like you're free now, wait until you get with your people. Now you're really gonna be set free. Yeah, and and I want to clarify that. So here's the thing: if the sun sets you free. And that's how he sets you free. He in virtue, you stand, you know, like oh, no country for old men. Get it? There is no country for old men because the male came into the system, the male energy. And once you're used up, and you're an old man. There's no place left for you to go. You got no country. And so I showed you that little clip where the guy's like the coin toss scene. That thing is packed. That, that whole scene is packed with everything I with with all the knowledge I know the, that one scene. So I'm going to give you that on steroids and human growth hormone and cocaine. And <laughs> I, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is you're going to be like, so, so here's the thing. So I started this video a certain way. I, I want you to understand, look, it's, I have been so diligent, so hard, diligently, I mean, I crunch data like someone that's in a, someone that's in like, chem, that's in their engineering finals. I mean, I crunch data like you wouldn't believe. It's, it's nuts. But the Lord is feeding me data and it has to be processed. So, that being said, you guys don't see everything. You don't handle every picture I handle. You don't read like the Lord will put something in front of me, then he'll, in a supernatural way, lead me to something else that's part of the puzzle. And then in another supernatural way, he'll add something to it. You know, Corey and I were, to, you know, some some part of our conversation the other day was, I mentioned the silence of the lambs. And, and then that same day, 
I was going to watch How to Train Your Dragon. It's a cartoon. I was going to watch it just to decompress a little bit. And I and I and I looked at Netflix and I tried to watch it and it it wasn't even there, even though it said it was there. Even though it said it was there, it wasn't there. I couldn't watch it. And I'm like, that sucks. I was just going to, you know, try and like take a little mental break. And then, boom, Silence of the Lambs pops up. I'm like, that's weird. We were just talking, and I hear the Lord say, I want you to watch Silence of the Lambs. So, I watch Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> and when I watched Silence of the Lambs, I was like, gah, gah. Well, that was Lord pushing open another door so I could comprehend and understand the waterfall that was about to come after Silence of the Lambs. And I was just like, good Lord, God, oh my Lord. Because once that, once he shoved some of that at me, what he wanted me to see in there, then it segues into another thing, into another thing. That's the way the gift of knowledge works. And so... In the past days, I past five days, I have processed more data than most people do in a semester of college. I'm not joking. I've been through so much data, it's insane. And so the Lord was giving it to me so I can help y'all and I can help you segue, you know, so you'll have a clean, direct route into Genesis 1. Now, that being said, there's a couple videos I would like for you guys to watch. And I'm going to say this now. I am not advocating for this person. I haven't watched this whole video. Uh, there's two of them. I haven't watched the, there's a one hour. How long is it? One hour and 20 minutes? So I haven't even watched it. But it's the same guy that did a shorter 20 minute video. And he presents some evidence. It's creation versus uh, versus evolution. And it has to deal with the fossil record. Well, oddly enough, I went to Texas A&M. As a geologist, geophysics was my, my major. Geology and physics. I wasn't petroleum engineering. I was geology. Geological engineering is what I did. So the fossil record and the rock record was an integral part of what I did. Uh, chemistry, biology, all that stuff, which has all been put to use in what we're doing now and what I'm doing since I got saved. And so... Now, all the stuff that I've done in the past, and I'm talking, Corey's seen the evolution now. Corey's been here to watch the revelation unfold. Have you watched, like, Supernatural Revelation unfold? Absolutely. Absolutely. Daily. Daily. Daily Supernatural. That's plethora of information. It's an overload. Most people would freak out of their minds. One night, I kind of did. I had to... <laughs> <laughs> One night, I was like... <laughs> I was like, dude, I... I just literally had to go dig in the dirt. I went and dug in the dirt. I just dug, dug, dig, 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 just to have something physical to wear me out, just to slow me down because it was so overwhelming. And so, anyway, long story short, so here's what I'm doing. So, y'all don't see what I see on a daily basis. No one knows the volume of data that goes through me. So... In order to get you ready for what's coming delivery-wise, I'm going to deliver to you by, I would say, the 11th. On the 11th, I will have my, my, my bullet points and my data points and my organization of the material. I'll have it ready in a presentable way just to get you ready for the Genesis 1 video. Because <laughs> y'all are going to be like, yeah, yeah. Again, but without the stepping stones... To get there, you know, if I do the Genesis 1 video, there's going to be so many people going, well, wait, I don't understand this, or what about this, and what about, and I'll be like, I don't have time to answer all your questions. I don't. I mean, is my life insanely busy? My life is not busy. It's insanely busy. And so we're racing towards the end. The end. Just like Noah, the flood was coming. Just like Moses leaving Egypt. I'm Johnny before the fire guy. I mean, I'm the guy. I'm I'm the I'm the Ezekiel ring the bell, warn them like a watchman ring the bell. And if they don't heed the warning, their blood's on their hands. But if you rang that bell, Jonathan, and you warned them and they didn't listen, that's their own stupid problem. And I've been diligent in ringing this bell since I rang that bell on my birthday when the Lord told me to. 
At 226, right? 226. I think it was 226. People were calling me up there. Hey, when are you going to ring the bell? I was like, dude, shut up. I had friends bugging me. I was like, guys, I don't know. The Lord will tell me when he wants me to ring the bell. He had me walk out there at, a, I think it was 226. I documented everything. And it, when I rang that bell, he told me, now look it up. Look at the time in the Bible. I think it was 226. And the word was to truth, to speak only truth, tell only truth. And you know what? Let, let me let me look it up. Let me, let me just look this thing up real quick. I want to see if I'm right. I just want to see. I think it was two two seconds. Yeah, so 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 I want y'all to listen to this. Listen to what it so the Lord made sure that I rang a bell on a little church that he had me build where I live with with representation of the exact system that we're in. He had me literally build a little building and he made sure the building was seventy six inches wide, which is Adam, the first man is Christ's representative. And it was 200 inches long. What building is 76 by 200? Have you ever heard of that? I haven't. I've done a lot of construction. And that building was a representation of from Adam to the locust. Because 76 is Adam. The first man is Christ's representative. And then 200 is locust from the pit. So from Adam to locust. He was giving me a message. And he had me build a building to give me the message. Think about that. Just think about that. And I did it. I've been faithful. Now, he had me ring that bell. Everyone thought I was going to, you thought I was going to get up and ring it in the morning, right? Cat thought I was going to ring it in the morning. The people that were here, the people that were calling me, people, you know, on, on, on the internet, hey, when are you going to ring the bell? It's like, dude, when the Lord tells me to ring it. And he told me right when to ring it, and I rang it at 226. And I, it's all documented. Let me read to you 226. What's this? It means the word is alatheo. Alath alath yuo. Alath yuo. It says, I spay, I say speak truth. I do truth. I maintain the truth. Speaking reality, truth into a person's life, making a record of what God deems is the truth. It includes spirit-led confrontation where it is vital to tell the truth so others can live in God's reality rather than a personal illusion. I'm the guy showing you that the Vatican is a damn snake wearing a crown. The mouth of that snake is a vagina. The largest altar in the world is a dead sheep. I'm the guy that walks into Starbucks and says, that guy over there is going to draw a picture of me when he does. He's going to put an image of a dead sheep on my face. I said that to Chris, the manager. He was like, what the hell have you been smoking, dude? I said, I haven't been smoking anything. I, didn't even, I was like, back then, I didn't even smoke weed. I was like, nothing. And he's like, okay, I'll take the million dollars. I said, I'll bet you a million dollars. A week and a half later, Alex drew a picture of me with a dead sheep on my face. Just stop and think about just that. Who in the hell could say that and then get it right? Just stop and think about it. Largest altar is a dead sheep. The sheep is in the mouth of a snake. Stop and think about that. Okay, now, I've made my point. I'm the guy. I am the guy to speak this truth into reality in this system. I've taken a lot of crap for it. And I, you know, a lot of people, oh, I don't like the way you talk. I don't care. You, what you see is what you get with me. I'm not going to put on some pretensive show for you. This is who I am. The Lord knows who I am. I serve him, not you. Just for the record. So some people like to leave their, oh, holier than thou BS Christian nonsense. I don't do that here. I speak truth. Okay, so that being said, I'm, I'm going to give you guys a couple videos. I watched one video, the 22-minute video or the 20-minute video, whatever it is. There's another hour and a half video. It has creationism versus evolution. I think it's a good thing just to get your mind in some places. Just So some of the data that rolls through me at least goes through your head a little bit. 
before I segue into this Genesis 1, which is going to leave most of the world in the corner sucking their thumb. <laughs> it's true. Most of the world's going to be a... They're going to be in the corner sucking their thumbs. They're going to freak out so bad. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be melodramatic. It's just the truth. I'm just, just like 226. I'll say it like it is at the risk of people hating me. Don't care. Okay, I love you in Christ. I'm here to help. I'll reach over a cliff to help anybody, even my enemies. I'll reach over a cliff, risk my own life to get them. I will. I have. I'll do it. So, this is the video I wanted to do today. I've been crunching data for five freaking days of torture. It's like, uh, and now I'm, I'm almost ready to give it to you. And it's going to, this, this information I'm about to give you is going to segue into the Genesis 1 video. The greatest thing they've done is hide the truth from us from the day you were born. You want to comment? I can just say that's honestly what I said. You have been lied to since the second your eyes opened on this play in this system you call the earth. The host body is the biggest illusion. Yeah, yeah, hand me that book. Look, it's the biggest, grandest illusion of anything. Let me show you something. This is the book. It's called the, the Book of Ultimate Illusions. Let me show you what it is. Those are male and female legs that are intertwined. See? The girl's wearing the high heels. And then I'll turn it upside down, and there's the guy. So all it is is interlocking male and female legs. Isn't that funny? It's like called the Book of Ultimate Illusions. What I just showed you is the greatest illusion ever perpetrated, ever. And I can prove it. Can I prove it? All, all day long? All day long. Not in one venue. I can prove it through a hundred disparate sources. I mean, disparate, not connected in any way, shape, or form. But I'm going to connect so many sources for y'all in the next video. You might have an anxiety attack or two, <laughs> or three, or four. Start praying when you have those moments when you're like, Oh my God, I've been lying to about everything. Just Heavenly Father God. Your word says, you'll never leave me nor forsake me. In you I take refuge. Take refuge in Christ. Because what I have to show you in this place you're in is like waking up in the greatest horror movie you've ever even imagined. And so I've been living it. I've been living it out. And I've been living it through death threats and crashers. And, you know, it's like I, I've been living it in a way that y'all can't even imagine. You just can't even imagine it. But by the grace of God, here I am. So, got you ready. I, I told Corey, I was like, I got to reach out to everybody. The Lord keeps telling me, reach out. Make sure they know what's it's coming. But I don't do, want to, I could sit here and try and deliver it, but, you know, it's not completely organized. It's not, I already own the information, by the way. I own it. It's in me. It's part of me now. No one can take it from me. I already got it. So I'm ready for my final exam, except I got to or I got to organize for y'all. And I want to give you guys some stuff to watch. I want you, you know, I want you to just take a look at this guy's video. I don't even know who he is. I'm just, I just saw a little bit of it the other day. I'm like, this would be good for everybody. And the Lord put it on my heart to, to share it with you. So you guys, you know, do a little homework yourselves. And um, now, the movie Silence of the Lambs, I mean, it, you know, I, I watched it a couple times recently. The Lord had me watch it. Don't try and do what I do, please. I see a lot of people that have tried to do what I do, and you'll make a mess of your life. I've seen people really mess up. But just watch the movie for what it is if you want to watch it. Pay attention. It's really very simple. It's about transmutation. Of a, of a serial killer from male to female. And he uses the death moth as an example of the transformation. But that turns out 
that that plays in so deeply to everything I've been doing that even the moth they use itself is from a painting from Salvador Dali that has seven women making the a skull. And they didn't actually uh, for the cover of for the cover of um, Silence of the Lamps. The moth they used, they superimposed a Salvador Dali image. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that, but I do. So anyway, um, there you go. Silence of the Lambs. Uh, if you want to watch it, I'm not. I'm not telling you you should watch Silence of the Lambs. If you want to watch it, it'd be kind of cool if you you were refreshed on it. Um, here is dinosaurs and humans live together, and and it's uh it's only got one thousand nine hundred fifty two views, and then. There's this other one called Record of the Rocks. And then I'm going to put these two video links in the description box for this video. And you guys can watch those. And then, let's see, there's also uh, this, this article, Genesis Park, The Fiery Flying Serpent. And again, I want to be very clear. I did not write these articles and I'm not standing behind everything they wrote. I'm just getting some data points in your brain to get you ready for what I got to deliver. Because if you go read Isaiah 14, you're like, oh, I read that firing, fiery flying serpent. I read that in Isaiah 14. And you go, oh, wow, they shall bring forth a cockatrice. Oh, when I show you the outward manifestation of that, in today's system, you're going to be like, how in the hell could Clegg show us that? He just showed us the manifestation of that in the system. So it would be good for you to have already read Isaiah 14, like I have. You know, the Lord leads me to all this stuff. It's the gift of knowledge. It's a supernatural gift. So anyway, go through these three things and just, you know, be generally familiar with them. This thing, Genesis part. I'm not, like I said, I'm not standing behind all the stuff this guy's saying, but it's kind of cool just to see some stuff in here and, you know, realize uh, just some of these data points. And then also dinosaurs and humans live together. And then the record of the rocks, Dr. Don Patton. So anyway, those are some things you could do. And if you want to watch Silence of the Lambs, watch Silence of the Lambs. So when I do my video... You'll be you'll be that much more uh, aware of the data that's being dropped on you in the way it interconnects with everything. It's it's mind boggling. Okay, there it is. Now I want to check in. God bless you guys. Corey, can you hand me that bear over there? We'll get a group hug in here because we're all going to need a group hug. <laughs> Thank you. This is you. <laughs> this is me. All right, group hug, guys. I love you guys in Christ. Everything's going to be okay if you're in Christ. If you're not, it's not going to be okay, I can assure you. But there's still a chance for those who aren't. That's what the great tribulation is. There's going to be a calling out of a lot of people that will realize, oh, my God, I should have listened. And that's okay. That's what they were destined for anyway. We're all predestined in Christ. We all have our destinies. Okay, so group hug. I love you in Christ. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Close your eyes. Cheek to cheek. Okay. Take a couple deep breaths. <sighs> okay. All right. All right, guys. I'll see you in a, probably on the 11th is what I'm thinking. I will probably be delivering the bit. It's probably be a two to three hour video on the 11th. It's going to be a crap load of data and I'm going to use it. Um, to mount and segue into the Genesis 1 stake in the heart of the vampire video, okay? All right, guys. Olivia and Christ, y'all take care.